Hello, this is a video talking about creating alternative text in a Word document. The first thing I'm going to do, first of all, I guess, welcome to my pretend thesis document here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is on Word, I want to show you how to do an accessibility check using the automatic Word checker. All right, so normally you're in Word and you're on home, you're able to, to sort of fix your text as you want. Once you've gotten everything kind of in order, you're going to go across to review. And there's a check accessibility option here. This is a way to make sure that people who have different abilities, whether they can read the words on the screen or they're having a screen reader tell them what's on the screen, how they experience the document and sort of have assists that are going to make it equal for everyone to access every bit of the paper as much as possible. So I'm going to click on the accessibility checker and we get this um, bucket on the side here with some options and I can see there are a few errors. The biggest error is that I'm missing alternative text, which is what we're here to do today. There's also a reading order warning and there's another suggested alternative text. So this one is trying to fix it for me. This one's saying, hey, I got to do it myself. Um, I'm actually going to do them all for you now. But the first one is chart number four and the second one is picture number one. So we're going to look at those things right now. So I'm going to close out my accessibility checker, but now you know how to find it under review accessibility check. Um, so I'm going to go to the first image in my document and I'm going to right click on it. There's an edit alt text option. And what's great about Word is that they give you some hints here about how to write alt text. They suggest one to two detailed sec uh, sentences and think, thinking about how you would describe this object to someone who is blind or low vision. So that's what we're really trying to do here. Of course, the first one I'm going to throw you a little curveball and say, this is actually a logo. This is a decorative image, in which case I don't actually have to put in alt text. It doesn't add anything to the paper inform like informationally to, um, to just mark this as decorative and have the screen reader skip it instead of saying, this is a logo of SUNY Oneonta. So I'm going to do that. I already marked it as decorative, so now I'm covered there. So I'm going to close that out, and I'm going to scroll down my paper to the next graphic that I need to add the alt text. So now I have a chart. This one's a little more complicated. And um, what's important is that the author writes the alt text because the author knows the reason they included these graphics in the paper. They want to be able to describe that to the readers. Again, I'm going to right click and I have the edit alt text option. Again, I have the beautiful description here where Word gives me some hints about how to write an alt text. And my attempt here is going to be, let's see, I'm going to think about my paper. This came from an actual paper of mine. Um, and I'm thinking about in the paragraphs around this chart, I already described sort of the small bits of information about this, like who said what of the different respondents. But the reason I included this is because I kind of wanted to show the, make the point that the tenure and tenure track faculty are the ones who are the most likely to respond. So I'm going to write that this in my alt text, that this is chart number one. And I'm just going to say tenure track and tenured faculty were the most likely to respond, excuse me, to this survey. And that conveys the information, which is sort of the reason I put this chart in. I don't even have to hit save or anything. It'll just keep it the way it is. I'm going to check my accessibility again. And you'll notice that the error and the suggested um, alt text are gone now. And the only thing I need to worry about is looking at the table. Now, I'm actually going to suggest to you, even though the word accessibility hasn't asked for it, I have one table in this document. I actually have two, but I only have one that I'm going to worry about with you guys. You can actually add alt text to a table, too. I'm going to right click on the table, and I'm going to go to Table Properties. With the table, I can put in a title so, so someone listening to a screen reader could decide whether they want to actually listen to the whole description because a table description can be quite long. So I'm going to call this, the name is called Statistic Description. And I would ask that you actually put in the whole title, but because, for the interest of time, I'm not going to write it here, but you would write the whole title out. And then you might say, uh, well, I went back to the paper that this came from, which is someone else's paper. 
and I actually got some information from her paper that Table 1 prevents, presents the descriptive statistics of variables for the full sample of firm year observations used in Equation 3. Now, if there was other information that was really should be conveyed in this that wasn't already in the text of the document, you could also put that here. And then I'm going to hit OK. So that gives me a little extra information about that table. And now I've completed my alternate text or alt text journey with this document. Thanks very much.